Okay, so this time we're doing a, another take on the fusion team, I suppose if you want to call it, from earlier. I think I did a bit of a fusion video already, but I didn't really do, like, the definitive, at least in my opinion, the definitive fusion team. And by that I mean using one variant of one character. So, like, no repeats, no multiple Vegito, multiple Gogeta, stuff like that. So real quick, let's just go over the team, and then we'll do a couple free battles. And while I'm letting you look at my team here, I want to correct a couple of things from my previous video. And I also want to give a huge shout out to, I think he's one of my subscribers, Joseph Rogers, because he made a really good point in the comments back there. And I also want to thank everyone who even liked the video. I'm not going to lie, I expected it to get a lot more dislikes and i'm surprised that it even has that many likes and so far no dislikes and again i don't really care too much i don't pay a lot of attention to that it's just something i noticed it's seriously something i expected to get a lot of hate for but anyway a couple things i wanted to correct from that video where um i said you could argue Android 13 not earning a spot on the roster. I meant Majin Buu Gohan Absorbed. Because let's be real, Majin Buu Gohan Absorbed, while well, he has a very unique fighting style in this game, a lot of his moves are just repeats or copy paste of other moves on other characters. And plus, he feels like he should have been a character in the game from the start. Same with Super Baby 2. People wanted him since Xenoverse 1. And hell, and in both Xenoverse 1 and 2, we wouldn't get him until way later, when Great Ape Baby was already in both games, which didn't make a whole lot of sense to a lot of people, myself included. Uh, the other thing was, like, at the very end, when I said World Tournament Arc, obviously I meant the Tournament of Power Arc. But yeah, just a couple corrections there, and I suppose one other small thing I'll touch on before we get into our first free battle here, is um, when I was talking about the unique fighting styles for the characters. And here's the reason that I said I can only somewhat get behind that idea. Uh, one, because if that fighting style is coming from a character, why not just use the character the fighting style came from to begin with? And two, if you're able to mix and match your own unique fighting style, there's not really going to be a whole lot of differences or variations online. People are going to generally lead toward what they consider to be the best fighting style or the most overpowered or broken or cheesy fighting style, if you will, online. So there'll be like no variation and no point, which is frankly why I'm personally okay with the set fighting styles for races and genders, but that's just me. Anyway, getting back into Hero Coliseum, don't worry, this is not another rant video. That's where I'm gonna stop for that. Today we're here for fun. And what better to start on that again than with some more Hero Coliseum? Which, speaking of which, I'm happy to report that um, Monk the Dude has recently come back. Uh, a lot of people, myself included, are very stoked about that. A lot of people were very worried about him. But thankfully, he's doing all right. He's uploading again. And if you're really into Hero Coliseum, I recommend going to check him out. Same with Rock and Robo and Raven Gaming. Because I know they still regularly upload, um, your Coliseum content. And let me go ahead and switch this music real quick. There we go, because I already have a feeling I'm probably going to get copyrighted for that. And if I'm too late, then oh well, I'm too late on that, but... Can't really help it now, I'm just going to move on at this point. But like I was saying, I don't think anyway... Unleash regularly uploads um, Hero Coliseum content anymore. I need to go check him out again, actually. Uh, speaking of which, thanks to him, I'm going to be able to showcase all the new figures that come out within the um, next upcoming update, as soon as we get PyCon. And I wanted to also go over a few figures that I personally think need to happen. One of the Frieza henchmen, I think the default is either Navel or Raspberry. You know, where are they at? We got, I think, Ramon and the Pool, so what gives? 
And speaking of figures that need to happen, Ice Shenron and Nova Shenron. They have their own free battles in the Hero Coliseum, yet they don't have their own figures. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. Other than them, I think a UR that really needs to happen, obviously, I think Pygon's more than likely to get a good zone. We need to give the UR Janemba, I think. Possibly even a better or another UR Vegeta. We already have, and I'm kind of taking this from Bugs, but I agree with him on it. We already have two Blue Vegeta. The first one they got, I think, just right. Both variations are, are outstanding. The second version we got was just not as good at all. But if they're keeping within the theme, if they have to have another Gogeta, I would say maybe have another Super Gogeta, even though we have a couple of him, I think, but a UR variant, not just an SR. But I think another figure that needs to happen if they're, again, keeping within the theme. Maybe, I don't know, give us another Omega Shenron figure, since he... Technically fought a version of Gogeta. I don't think we really need another version of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta at all. Pretty much all of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's figures are overpowered as hell. And I don't think a whole lot of people can argue that either. But anyway, this video was just so I could, um... Do another fusion video just for the hype of it, just for fun, until we get another the um, next update coming in the game. I don't expect this team to do too well. It's just something I sort of threw together. I actually don't have an ultimate uh, figure set up on this team either. Uh, as you may have noticed when it, from when I was going over my team, three of my figures, um, they actually have... Uh, ultimate down every turn on them. That's just because I'm that paranoid. I don't want to get blown back when I don't have a very good one figure in my deck to begin with. And since I'm going second each time, I didn't really see much point in putting uh, attack up second on Kafla. I'm pretty much just going to be building her up as, as a um, another tank if I need it. And I can put her in front of um, Vegito if need be. I'm probably not going to do a whole lot here with um, Go Tanks. All oh, because of Autos. Thankfully, I can at least say that I should do decent damage if she doesn't die. Okay, she's probably going to die when Vegito attacks. Because thankfully, when he's below 50% HP, he does ignore defense. So this should theoretically kill. Okay, very good. I thought I was going to be kind of hosed. In my personal opinion, I never thought that the Merzimasu UR figure we got was that good. If you can keep him alive, I, I could guess theoretically he could do very well. But even then, you need to run both Whis and Vados, I think to have him do as well as he would need to. Because I just, I don't think he would, he would be there. The numbers would not be there, in my opinion. And I put ADM up second on, um, Merge Zamasu just because, um, if you look at the ADM up second and attack up second, just compare them, ADM up second is more preferable when you have more than 5,000 base attack, which he does. He's got 5,200, so he's getting more out of that. And plus, if he's still alive, which a lot of the case isn't, isn't usually, you can activate that second part of the skill if you felt like putting him on the field by himself. He get all of his added speed as more attack. So that's why I have him set up the way I do. And um, same reasoning for Kafla. Uh, Go tanks I have set up with attack up second, ADM up second, and defense up second because he gets slightly weaker when he falls below 50% HP. And um, I don't really need him to decrease the enemy's ultimate gauge. 
every turn. I have uh, enough slots for that, thankfully. This isn't a serious competitive team or anything, like I said already. This is just a for fun deck I threw together. And I expected to actually lose against Blue Goku. I'm surprised we made it uh, past him as easily as we did. Let's see, who should we try on next? I think we're gonna do Jiren next and then probably the other UI Goku battle, because I think. Actually, you know what? Let me look at the other one real quick. I'm pretty sure there was another one. Okay, never mind, there was just one. I would say the Jiren and the UI Goku battles were pretty difficult. I'm thinking of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, he got a couple. Yeah, for whatever reason, they gave him a couple. Okay. I mean, he is a very popular character, don't get me wrong. Just, I, would, I didn't expect him to get multiple free battles of 7 stars. But yeah, I would say let's... Let's see how this deck does against both Jiren and UI Goku. I'm probably gonna have a slightly easier time with Jiren, if anything. I'm also having some pretty bad luck whenever I come home lately. For whatever reason, a lot of the time when I get home, there's usually a wild animal right outside my patio window. Uh, this time it was a possum. Lately, it's usually been a skunk. Thankfully, I haven't gotten bitten or, you know, sprayed or anything like that. Uh, where I live at, there's like, um... Okay, so I'm at a complex, right? And there's there's a fence. And, and on the um, other side of the parking lot, looking at my window. It's kind of a woodsy area. So I get, we get a bunch of wildlife here, especially at um, at night. During the daytime, usually it's just the... It's funny, I saw a whole bunch of squirrels messing around uh, as soon as I got up. Yeah, you know what, squirrels. Just put Kefla down and see what happens. Okay, so Jiren screwed up here. He put beers in the right place, but he really should have swapped... Um, Chompa on Jaren, if anything. And it's already a given at this point, but obviously with this team, I'm trying to go second. Not really aiming to go first. I'm noticing one problem with that, though, is that um, I'm having figures that have really obnoxiously high attack, attack stats. They don't really have a whole lot of defensive options to them. Particularly, I'm referring to... Um, Gogeta and um, Kefla. Their defenses are kind of piss poor. And it's for that reason that you occasionally see me swapping it up like this. Just so I can keep them around longer, hopefully. I might lose Vegito here. I hope not. And theoretically, I should kill because, again, Jiren screwed up. He put, um... Well, to be fair, he at least has Beerus in the right spot, but still, if he wanted to mitigate even more damage, he should've put Bottos in her Trigger Square. That's, a, you know, that's another figure I think we need. We need another good UR Beerus. Because the SR1 was just bad. And while not terrible in his own right, the Orbeerus we already have is just not really used a whole lot. His poison skill is awesome, but he doesn't really have the defenses stick around and make use of that a whole lot. And he only has a spot in the upper right, and that's it. So they really need to give him a new UR figure, I think. And if they're gonna do that, then perhaps do the same with Champa? I don't know, just a thought. Rizzi actually killed my Vegito in one hit. His attack stat is only... Yeah, but that's all he has with first attack stat. I don't know how he managed to kill him in one hit. I could have sworn my Vegito had over 9k HP, but maybe I'm wrong. 
Then again, I'm not looking at the other figures that were also on the um, on the field currently. Because that's another thing with the free battles. Since they're not able to do, and I've said this before, since they're not able to do counterattacks, and they're not able to do spear bombs, they're given some pretty broken character scales to work with. And good lord, i very lucky to have not have lost Gotenks right there. Would have been in a very bad situation had I. It definitely sucks to lose Vegito, if anything, because once he obviously gets below that 50% HP threshold, he ignores defense. He's essentially, at least to me, a better Beerus. Especially if he's going second. But if you're gonna want to get Vegito to work as well as he ought to, then you're gonna have to put him on the field with, um... With Vados, obviously, maybe NFC Goku... Maybe we, but there's too much defense at that point. It needs more damage. See, who's got the higher attack stat? I mean, he would have put them on, on there by himself, obviously, but... Okay, I'm not gonna risk it. I don't want him to double up and just completely obliterate my master. So, I think we're fine doing this. No, let's actually get Kefla out there. Because she got put she's gonna put way more damage. This is good, I think. And unfortunately, Jiren is going right for my master. Shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. And this is actually the first time, provided I live, I mean I, I ought to. This will be probably be my first time ever seeing Urge the monster to do his ultimate in this game, in here I'll see him anyway. Jesus, that did a lot more than I thought it would. Unfortunately, there goes Gogeta. Let's see if he can output decent damage. That's actually pretty decent. I would say that's above average. To me, average damage is anywhere between, like, 4,000 and 5,000. They don't have to output crazy, crazy amounts. Only a select few figures in the game output ridiculously high numbers, and look at their defensive stats. They're usually not too great. Perfect example, obviously, is Focus Flash Vegeta. I use him a bunch. In fact, he's in my main duck. And most of the time, I'm not even putting him out in the front, like, ever. I'm only having him put behind Vados. I think we'll do one more here and then call it. So while I've not been doing Hero Coliseum and other crap like Castle Crashers or just playing the main game of Xenoverse, doing three battles, screwing around, um, doing parallel quest challenges, I'd like to spend some of that free time towards watching um, Rock and Roller and Mug the Duke because they have a decent variety on their channel as well as Raven Gaming. Um, they also do uh, Dokkan Battle. I want to say that they've both done Super Dragon Ball Heroes. I don't really remember in, in Rock and Roller's case. I know Mugs has done that a couple times, but I think he said he stopped because it wasn't getting as many views as he had hoped for. I uh, think, think Muggs actually said he was going to be doing Legends soon, so that'll be interesting, I think, to see. I've seen Legends, it's basically not, to me, not as good version of Xenoverse on mobile. That's how I'm looking at it, anyway. And it's not a bad game, it's just not my thing. Mobile games are usually never my thing. And it's funny I would even say that, considering this game feels like it should be on mobile itself. And to this day, I'm surprised that there isn't a similar... I, I could be wrong, but I don't really seen this kind of game, especially not for Dragon Ball, before the mobile yet. If you want to go count Dokkan, then go right ahead, but that has a completely different set of rules uh, to it, and it has a lot more... Uh, do it because that's its main focus is the 
turn-based card game. You can even throw in equipment, I think, for them and um, meals and stuff. I might be misremembering. I know you can put equipment, oddly enough, on your um, cards for Super Dragon Ball Heroes. I don't quite get that. And, and even, you know, with that game, there's only one super overpowered deck that everyone was running online, and that was it. And I want to say the community for that game is basically completely dead. And it's perplexing that it has so much less of a community, at least from observation, than Hero Coliseum. This is just a mini game that was tagged on to Xenoverse 2. Now, shortly after DLC, was it, was it 5 or 6? I, I don't really remember. I know it, it definitely came in at kind of an odd time, though. Let's see if I can actually proc Vegito's um, posing skill. I might be taking quite a lot of damage here because of Focus Flash Vegito. This isn't good. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Well, well, I'm at it. I'm gonna plug a couple of other people. Um, I haven't really had a chance to check you out yet uh, to see if you upload or anything like that. But um, Tetsu, uh, definitely Puto's gaming. I would say go and check him out. I think he sort of saw the future and us getting suffer off for um, Smash because I don't know if he did data mining or something. I think he might have uploaded a Smash song for Sephiroth at some point, and then a little bit later on. Sure enough, we got Sephiroth for Smash Bros. He's in. Also makes me wonder who we're going to get next. I'm hoping that we'll possibly even get, um, maybe Shadow Zero Protomat, even though that's kind of unlikely. I know people are probably gonna laugh when I say this, Waluigi. And I'm really glad we got Sephiroth. I do not s understand or see the praise for Gene, though. I don't like the character. I think he's just kind of dumb. I've never really played Super Mario RPG, but just looking at him, I don't like him. You know, he's just wooden puppet, big deal. Maybe that's just me, though. And unfortunately, I'm working both, um, I'm working both tomorrow and on Christmas Day. Not too thrilled about it, but it's not the first time either, so I can't really be too mad at it. And plus, I already had basically every other holiday this year off. So I'm fine with it. It's not really even a full shift. Jesus, that did a lot. I'm not expecting it. Then again, it has the hard hand version. That's kind of my fault. But anyway, thankfully, Christmas Day is not a full shift for me. It's only six hours. It's not bad at all. I can handle that. Very lucky I didn't die to Goku right there. I'm gonna have to put figures across all three columns if I wanna have a, even have a sliver of a ch chance of uh, winning this game. I could have sworn that Merge the Master was going to use an ultimate. I suppose I wasn't paying attention. My fault. You know, screw it. Let's put both. Yeah, let's put all three of these fusions up. Let's see, 1480. I should definitely be outspeeding here. Okay, I get why you moved Goku back. He was in his, in his trigger square, but why'd you move Piccolo back? But do I go to why? Especially for your master. Now you're not getting into that added defense. See, I think they also give the AI broken character skills because they're really dumb when it comes to placing their figures a lot of the time. Like, if this were a player that had the, both the knowledge and common sense behind this game, they wouldn't have made a stupid move like that. 
and I'm fine with that. I'll take what I can get, frankly, because, again, this is not the greatest team. But still, it's stupid shit like that why it, you feel like you get some undeserved wins when it comes to a lot of these free battles. But anyway, thank y'all for watching, and uh, that's going to do it for the vid. I'll catch you in the next one. Catch you later. Peace.